I want to be clear, Trump, of course, does not appear as a character in Building the Wall. How would I write the character of Trump? Um, I'm not sure I would, honestly. If you can have gay pride and black pride and trans whatever pride, why can't I be proud to be white? I'm, I'm less interested in Trump, the person, than I am in Trump and the political ideals that he espouses. I'm Robert Schenken. I'm a playwright. I wrote this play, the first draft, in a week, which is fast, I think, by anybody's standards, but certainly fast by mine. I will build a great, great wall on our southern border, and I will have Mexico pay for that wall. Yeah. Mark my words. Yeah. It was a response to the incendiary, uh, I would argue, racist uh, and dangerous rhetoric of the then Republican candidate, now president. I felt that regardless of how the election would turn out, the country had already crossed an important line. I'm not prejudiced like people think I am. I do not care who you are or where you're from. But you should not be able to come to this country illegally and take our jobs and use our resources and services. That's just pretty clear to me. I pretty much just had this notion of uh, an interview with a middle-aged white executive. We're not clear entirely at the beginning of what crimes he's been charged with, but they're obviously very serious crimes. And uh, interviewing him is this uh, African-American history professor, Gloria. Maybe I write a book like we talked about, or maybe at the end of the day, I just go home and burn my notes. The play is the conversation between these two individuals as they wrestle with history. It's a cautionary tale. What a thrill to bring this American story, our story, to the Broadway stage of passion, power, and politics. And this My work is often concerned with uh, American history and politics. We are experiencing something very, very different right now. What we're experiencing is a fundamental attack on basic American values. These are the cornerstone of our republic, what's made it unique and successful for over 200 years. He protects Americans, real Americans, and starts fulfilling his campaign promise to deport illegals. And it's not exactly a surprise, because he's been talking about it since the beginning. And come on. Yes, I wrote this play very quickly, and, and that's different for me. But what is more interesting to me and, and potentially more significant is the speed with which this piece has been distributed. I think it's very, very important that all artists respond now. The rule book has been thrown out the window and if theater continues to produce uh, art uh, in its normal way where you commission a play, it takes three or four months to if you're lucky to get it written and then another year and a half of development before it finally arrives on the stage, that will be too late. We're either going to be making history or we're going to be curating history.